Okay, we want to graph this exponential function. And we're going to graph it just like we've graphed everything else. We are going to make an xy chart. Now, here's the thing as we make this xy chart. And just like before, we're going to pick our values of x and we're going to see what they come up for. Um, and so I'm probably going to pick, just like I would do before, I'm going to do a negative 2, a 0, and a 2. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to actually, um, I would probably, so when we did, and if you remember, I said this back when we did it, any linear function, I usually only do three points. But because this is nonlinear, um, a lot of times it's worth doing five. So let's do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now, I know what an exponential looks like. I could probably do it in three. As you do exponentials, you might find that you get enough that you know what it looks like. You can do it in three. But if you're not sure on anything that isn't a straight line, extra points will help you make sure you get it. An exponential should look something like this. It should be some sort of curve going this way. That's a base exponential. Um, and there was pictures in the notes, there's pictures in the book of this. This is a base b to the x. Now, and this should, in a base b, the x goes through the point 0, 1. Um, but that's going to change as other things affect it. Um, now, as you look at this, you are first going to be tempted to go 2 times 1 half is 1. We can't do that. This is by this has an exponent on it this has to be done first you remember order of operations please excuse my dear aunt sally and those exponents come first before we do any multiplication in division so it is important that you do that part first so as i start putting these in okay so we've kind of talked about what we should do so first of all whenever you look at these don't immediately think, what can I simplify? You want to do this first. If it helps, you put in parentheses. So I'm going to do 2 times 1 half to the negative 2. Now, we can use our exponent rules and realize that this is then um, 1 half to the negative 2, 2 to the negative 2. And we would know that this flips it. This is actually 2 thing. This is going to be 4. This is actually going to become a bigger number. But you can also use your calculator. So at this point, if you wanted to, if you're like, well, I don't remember all the rules and I don't want to worry about it, um, I could pretty easily, as I said, like I can look at this and go, oh, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. But if you don't remember what to do, that's when you get your calculator out. So I'm going to get my calculator out and I could do 1 half. Okay. So that's my 1 half. And I want to go, and this caret key, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go to the negative 2, push enter, and I can see I got 4, which is the same thing I just said I was going to get. So this is 2 times 4, which is 8. Then 2, 1 half. So this is 2 times 2, which is 4. But again, if you didn't remember that, that's okay. That's you get your calculator out, and you could just simply put these numbers in. 2 times 1 half. The 1, so this is going to be 2 times 1 half. Oh, to the, I skipped ahead. Okay, so I'm doing this one right here, which is 1. This one here, this is why I need lined paper, 2, 1 half to the 0, which is 1. So this is 2. And then I have 2, 1 half to the 2. This is 2 times 1 fourth. This is going to be 1 half. So now at this point, What you can't see is the, my cat is right by my arm, making it difficult to graph. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to put in these points. So I'm going to come here, and x is negative 2, and it's all the way up here at 8. Okay. Then I'm going to do negative 1, and it's down here at 4. Then I'm uh, 0 is going to be at, I just lost it in there, 1, 1, right? No, that was 2. So 0 is at 2 right there. And then I'm at 1, 1, and I'm at 2, 1 half. So you can see here, 
we've got a basic curve. And you'll notice the big difference between this and this is it's backwards, and that's because um, we had the one half, we had uh, the uh, fraction in there. And if you remember from the base things, that's going to flip which way it goes. Um, but that gives us our graph, we make our little curve, this would be the answer. The other way you can also do this is use technology, and there's nothing wrong with that. Learning to use the technology is as much as point of anything else. So I'm going to come over here to Desmos, which is free. for You can use it as an app. You can use it on your computer. And I'm going to put in y equals to 1 half. And then um, you can either use the caret key or if you come down here, this to the x. And you can see right here, that's that 0, 2 we just put in. And if you check this, so if I came here, this is 1, 2. You should see here, I should be able, if I get right there, there's one of the points we just found. Um, it will only click on the ones that are on there. There's no, this is going to get closer and closer, but this is actually an asymptote, so you're not going to ever get quite there. You're not going to have an X um, intercept. But you can see right there's the Y, and that's the same Y we got right here. Um, and this is the same graph that we got. Um, it's useful to do it both ways. Obviously, practice with putting it into your calculator. Make sure you can practice putting the exponentials into your calculator as well.